Aura is very good. And I think in doubles it works a lot better because it's the world's biggest weakness is a recovery. But in doubles, obviously, it's you can very help difficult. out. It's Falco and Yoshi as well, none of them have like incredible edge guard game. A yeah. lot of them can spam on stage, off stage, and hopefully, hopefully put in some work. But in Cinero, it's going to have a much easier time. So I spent a couple hours last night playing Samus versus Yoshi. And Samus has good out of shield options with up B, but Yoshi's out of shield frame data it is insane. incredible. Yeah, his narrow out of shield, his Gotta upper. Gotta be so it's careful versus this. Back air, out of shield, very good. So you, it, difficult to cross up as well. Samus is really good at that. Samus has cross up dash attacks. Yeah. Cross up with down air as well. But against Yoshi, that back air comes out after you cross up. It's going to be difficult. So I watched these guys play earlier on, Reptile and Jaxter. Not as much projectile spam as I would have thought. They were playing against double swordies. And I was like, kind of expected just to see a wall yeah. of eggs and lasers on Pokemon Stadium, like layered. It's weird. The, well, neither of their projectiles are that strong. I think, yeah. especially in doubles as well, it's kind of risky. So I don't, and I don't think we're seeing it much here, mainly because Afro is going to be wanting to do his charge shot. So they're not yeah. going to want that. They're going to be trying to close in the space quite a lot. Yeah, that's a very strong thing. Cinero you saw beefy hip. Yeah, you saw he had the revenge on him, and I don't think they were paying attention. So obviously he got the uh, Alolan whip, as it's called, yeah. and then killed quite early with it. So many just very small things you've really got to pay attention to that you might miss as when, as opposed to playing singles. Again, like keeping an eye on that Samus charge shot, keeping yeah. an eye on the Incineroar. Thankfully, one of the things that Heavy's obviously struggled with getting comboed by characters like Yoshi and Falco. So Afro just needs to be there to make sure that those combos just don't extend yeah. too long. I think as well as uh, Sam is having quite good like get off me options, like I think an up B yeah. would work out. Up up B, very good. As well as cause like characters like Yoshi and Falco kind of struggle with landing, as well as that's something Incineroar and Samus can punish quite well, so hopefully you should be seeing that quite a lot yeah. here. I I'm not expecting to see a lot of the uh, the Yoshi down B into no, <laughs> not in doubles. <laughs> yeah, not a not offline. That's a very uh, yeah. That's a very that's a very <laughs> Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's, a, that's yeah. me getting tilted on Wi-Fi, and uh, hoping they jump into it. Afro not getting edge guarded. Samus can have a pretty tough. She has a lot of recovery options, but none of them are particularly safe. Yeah. So, and most become quite linear. Like yeah. you could, you know what they're going to do based on like where they're landing. Yeah. Really good edge guard coming there from Jaxa. Kind of knew it was going to go for the high and went for the back air for kill. Yeah, Incineroar, another one, obviously, as we mentioned, tough to get back on stage with. Yeah. Linear recovery options. Can't angle a lot of things as yeah. well with other characters. So it's Incineroar is a character that once he's off stage, you should be. That should be. Yeah, you yeah, should, should be should taking be the star. One of the sad things about Samus that I've noticed so far very specific hitboxes off stage. The back air has a very small hitbox, the nair has the, the double hit, but it's still a very small hitbox. You've got to be yeah. very tight with those edge guards. There's no very large, I'm covering multiple recovery options. Yeah. Ledge traps with the bombs on stage is very good, but you've still got to let them get back to the ledge in order to begin doing that. But it's looking really good here for yeah. these guys. It's a two on one situation. Afro's still got two stocks. And I find the spaghetti happens in the 2v1s. Like yeah. It does begin to... You start hitting each other more often because you just want to get it over with. Yeah, you're going you just, it like that. Oh, was that... That was... So this is... Yeah. The, the you can charge the revenge stuff. Yeah, it's This stacks. is new to me. That is... The revenge, the revenge does stack. That should be it. That, yeah, it's got to yeah. be it. Oh, oh, no. Good to be I come in there from... Uh, Jack, never mind. There we go. No. no. Oh, wait. Oh. That okay. was... That was... Oh. That was nice. Oh, boy. So... As somebody that's trying to look at Samus stuff, the best Samus thing that just happened was off the screen. Yeah, you didn't even I have to no see it. Idea what just I don't know happened. what move that was. I'm trying to absorb this information. God, didn't even see it. If I would get, I'm gonna say it was a back air. Or yeah, it's probably, be. yeah, it's probably a back air. Down air. Down air. I'm being told that was a down brain. Ah. Right. Stage selection. I feel like they're gonna go back to Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon. That's like everyone's go to it's, stage. It's a very, very go to stage. It's a very, it's like, a very neutral stage, so though. Sa Samus likes the platforms for the up -beat. up -beat out of shield on a stage with platforms is a lot safer than, like, FD, yeah. where you can't land on a top platform. You've got to slowly fall back down in special fall. So depending on what they feel like the issue was, here we go. Kalos. So it's a solid one. They've not got those really high uh, top platforms yeah. for the recoveries. But the platform placement is mm. going to help a lot more. And especially with combo extensions, Falco would really like it. Obviously, the it forward air on one of those top side yeah. platforms. That's that's kill range. Okay. 
I like the colour coordination going on with Afro and S1 as well. Yeah, the black uh, and white. Yeah, I like it. This the important smash things. I know Afro's always gone for the white ult with Samus. Going for a hard read on the Edo Jin. Yeah. Oh. Samus grab in this game, a lot quicker than I expected it to be. But it's for a tether grab, that comes out fairly quickly and has quite a range to it, but Yoshi, uh, Yoshi shield option is still very strong. I think, I don't know if you saw it, but I think S1 tried to go, I think he did get it, I think he got the up B kill, but ended up dying because of it. Oh. So that, I'm still really impressed with that revenge stack. That, yeah. So like for a team, to have this figured out, that's always a really solid one. I believe there was some like Game & Watch, similar things you could do in yeah. Smash 4 as well, right? Would, so yeah. now you've got that on a heavy, and that's going to hurt. Especially with really bad. Alolan Whip does a lot of damage. Yes. So they've picked this really wide open stage. So again, I expected some more sitting back, zoning out by picking no, the larger stage. But they, I'm not, yeah, the stage is kind of weird. They kind of, I feel like they've just kind of picked it out. Like, I feel like, the, pick. yeah, it, it, it might be like statistically, this is our best stage, but we, the way we play doesn't match the stage, yeah. potentially. Because like, they kind of want to just go all out. Because yeah. you don't really want to give like a big stage like Samus as well, who can yeah, just Samus run away and charge run. because of it. It's really hard. Ooh, that was, that oh, works. that would have been good if killed. What we were talking about with those side platforms as well, like, yeah. The, if he teched any direction there, after, if he missed that platform, it was a, that was a free kill. Incineroar just being able to recover high as well. Like, Incineroar coming down isn't too bad. Yeah. He's did some difficult things to contend with. Danger Zone picking that up. Well, we, uh, at the moment, the game's still quite even. It's quite good for them. A lot better than the last one, where yeah, they had quite a, solid, quite a solid lead. The happy birthday equivalent. The, uh, the double down air. That's yeah. Yoshi's down air hurts and lasts a long time. Like, honestly, I feel like I let go of shield 10 minutes too early every time you I get down still get hit by, by it. Yeah, yeah. I, every time I let go of it way too early. I think it's got to have finished now. Got it. Never do, because then there's like, there's too many hitboxes yeah, for it. Multi hitbox, very good. So like, parry is another thing that we haven't seen an awful lot yet and it's something that I think will come later on when players obviously get better. But yeah. things like being able to parry multi hit moves is going to eventually be absolutely huge. Yeah, being but, uh, able to just parry something that seems so strong at the moment because no one knows how to. Yeah, it's just very difficult. We're going to get some evil 37 moments in the future. Oh, uh, that'd be that, incredible. that's going to be <laughs> some incredible multi hit moves. Afro is solid thing. I really. So the Samus charge shot off stage sends you backwards after firing it, much like Mewtwo's did in like Smash 4 as yeah. well. It will pull you back. So the fact that he managed to get back after that, he's got that, he's got that figured out because the amount of times I try charge shot off stage and just fall away from the stage and I'm like, oh, crap. So that, that was clutch, very clutch. It's a very good get off me. Ooh, that, Again, I thought there was a lot more lag on that down here. Yeah. He landed and then just instantly put out another hitbox. I was expecting the punish on that. There we go. Oh, is that, yeah, best that, of three. Yeah, best of three, two, zero. Quite a, I think quite a solid game coming from S1 and Afra. Yeah, no, those guys. Yeah. Those guys have figured out some specific team stuff, as you can tell. Yeah, you could tell. It's like, really they interesting. They with knew, they with knew a roster the this big stuff. as well. Yeah, with a roster this big, there's got to be some super interesting combos that go on. So I'm glad to see that people are labbing doubles. Like doubles has never been like my strongest point, but to see people that really do enjoy doubles and like yeah. lab it out and like what what can we actually do with it? We can break the game twice as hard now with two of us at once. Yeah, with all these, like it's going to be so interesting seeing the combos later. As long as like people. Will keep the variety good for the characters. Yeah, yeah, no, so th this game has so much potential. With